Hi, my name's Lee, and lately I've been thinking about the future of humanoid robots and how they're likely going to begin appearing in everyday life. Now, I confess that I'm excited to be living through one of the most incredible times in history, the time when humanoid robots will become pervasively integrated into human society. It will likely happen in ways that we're really not prepared to deal with, and it's just around the corner. We're talking months, not years away. So how, how will we see them roll out? Well, let's start with a quick financial analysis of the benefits and the costs of a robot to a typical small business, say a McDonald's franchise burger joint. It seems likely that the earliest versions should be capable of making fries, right? That's a pretty simple task and seems ideal for a robot. What does a fry cook cost today? Of course, it depends on where you are, but let's just use an hourly rate of $15 as a baseline. How many hours a month do you pay a fry cook? Well, if you're open 16 hours a day for 30 days, that's 480 hours. Times $15 comes to $7,200 per month. Now, let's, let's add another 25% for payroll taxes, insurance, and other benefits that have to be paid. And that brings us to $9,000 a month for a human teenager. And you have the problem of dealing with last-minute no-shows and cell phone use while they're on the job or in the water closet. So let's compare that with the cost of a robot. According to Elon Musk, Tesla plans to begin selling the Optimus robot in 2026. He's indicated that limited production for internal use could start as early as this year, with broader commercial availability expected in 2026. So regarding pricing, he suggested that an initial target range between $20 and $30 per unit is achievable. He also mentioned that at a production scale of 1 million units per year, the cost would probably drop below $20,000. Now, ultimately, I think you'll be able to get a highly functional unit, maybe not a Tesla Optimus, for between ten dollars and $15,000. Now, that makes the decision to replace an hourly human staff easier to justify. While Tesla has showcased Optimus performing tasks like dancing and handling objects, Musk emphasized that the robot is still far from its optimal form. It's currently using Optimus prototypes within its factories, and he envisions a future where these robots are widely adapted for a variety of tasks. So let's presume that the initial cost later this year or early 26 will be 30 grand. That means without considering maintenance and operating costs, the ROI for an Optimus compared to a teenager is less than four months. With maintenance and operating costs, the ROI break-even should be six months or less. In a few years, the ROI gets even better. Now, if I were a McDonald's franchise owner, what would I rather have, a human fry cook or an Optimus robot? Of course, we're not factoring in any costs for the consideration of repairs and downtime and recharging, etc. Look, the real... Li the real li Look, the reality is that at least for a few months, maybe for a few years, people will come to my McDonald's to watch the Optimus make fries, and I should get a bump in sales. Now, that won't last long, as people will quickly become bored with robots, but at least initially, the monthly, the novelty effect should be good for sales. Let's be honest, if you can replace a human teenager and get a positive ROI in less than six months, you're going to replace pretty much every one of them that you can in your burger joint, right? It's simple math. Humanoid robots will lower the cost of operation and probably increase the consistency and the quality. Now let's consider a couple of other simple businesses. How about a lawn care company? How hard is it to run a string trimmer or a leaf blower or to push a mower? What about delivery companies in central business districts, restaurants and attorneys, that kind of thing? Imagine a local sandwich shop having a delivery humanoid with brand identification printed on it, delivering lunch. Now, would that be great marketing? Probably initially. How about nursing homes and the elder care facilities? That's difficult work for sure. Lots of lifting and simple tasks like cleaning floors. With the added benefit with the humanoid robot of being able to interact with a guest, kind of a no-brainer. How about home services, things like vacuuming, one of my favorite tasks, mowing the lawn, walking the dog, doing other housework, and collecting packages from delivery services. 
And think about the companionship angles. Have you ever interacted with ChatGPT? Even now, a relatively early version of chat, the interactions are very near to the quality of speaking with another person. And it's only going to get better, far better. So how many humanoid robots are going to be needed? Certainly millions, probably billions, maybe over time even tens of billions. Now, the changes to society will of course be beyond significant. But that is a topic that is actually beyond the scope of this particular deeper dive. It's something we'll have to come back to at a later time. For people, there will certainly be lots of need for repair technicians, training schools, etc. Now that means that all the displaced fry cooks will need to significantly update their skill set. But there will be lots of demand. You don't have to be an engineering genius and able to design and build cars to repair them. The same thing will be true of robots. But for now, let's focus our attention on the investment opportunities by first considering how large the market may be. And before I begin, note that I'm not a stockbroker or an analyst, and the information that I present here is solely for your assistance in developing longer-term strategic thoughts that you should discuss with your licensed investment professional before making any investment. So let's, let's look at some humanoid robotics market share or size projections. The global humanoid robot market is expected to experience incredible growth in the next 25 years. Now the forecasts vary widely depending upon the assumptions that you put in place. But by 2030, the projected range in terms of sales is anywhere between about $4 billion and $15 billion. Not really all that much. By 2035, the forecasts suggest a market size of anywhere between $38 billion, that's on the low end, and almost $5 trillion on the high end. And by 2050, longer-term projections estimate that the global market could expand to be as large as $24 trillion, depending on how widespread adoption is across both industries and household. So regardless of the projection, the fact is that the growth in humanoid robot sales will simply be huge. Now let's talk about Tesla's position in the humanoid robot market. Tesla is developing the Optimus humanoid robot, and that positions them as a significant player in this emerging sector of humanoid robots. Now, Morgan Stanley anticipates that Tesla could provide or produce as many as 40,000 units by 2030 and up to 63 million units by 2050. Douchebank es estimates Tesla's humanoid robot business could easily be valued at 70 billion ultimately potentially surpassing its automotive segment in value in the longer term. Okay, well that concludes part A. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back and review part B.